hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's me mystic beauty and i'm here to do another general energy reading i hope that all of you guys are doing well so before we go ahead and get started i want to make an announcement to all of my new love bugs here on our channel we have something called the mystic beauty's honey pot blessing raffle it is a blessing pot you guys the tickets are only one dollar and eleven cents it is a weekly raffle okay we do a computer generated um drawing and the winner receives the cash pot so um i'm excited i'm excited every time someone is blessed last week the pie got up to 940 dollars the week before that i think it was like eight something and i think the week before that it was like a thousand so you know anything is plenty right so if you want to participate the link to the honey pie raffle will always be in the description box or if you simply just want to be a blessing the tickets are one dollar and eleven cent also you guys i do not offer personal readings i have not offered personal readings in almost two years now you guys anything that i offer you will verbally hear me say it out of my mouth ignore anybody in the comment section talking to you about the head of vision and this and that or whatever that is not me okay those are scammers ignore them okay um also i'm not taking up donations for an orphanage some type of orphanage in africa somewhere i had to um refund someone a hundred dollars she actually sent me a hundred dollars for some type of donation for an orphanage like I had I sent it back to her and had to message her and let her know like those are scammers you guys so please don't get scammed okay please be careful if you like I can't get to all the messages but the ones that I get to I try to get back to you guys when I can you know uh, but if you are ever doubting anything just don't do it like if if it's if it if it makes you uncomfortable don't do it okay and if you send me money for an orphanage I'm gonna refund you okay all right um i'm never gonna require you guys to donate especially like a hundred dollars like our honey pot is one dollar and 11 cents so you guys i just want to look out for you guys and i don't want you guys to get scams okay all right so let's go ahead and jump into um these messages let's see what this person has to say what is the overall um energy for this reading holy spirit what is the overall what is what is the overall energy for this reading spirit energy for this reading all right bad timing so i feel like when you first met this individual the timing was off the timing was bad this person could have had a lot of other obligations or things like that maybe the timing was bad for both you guys but it's an it is an energy of, of the timing being off normally when the timing is off you guys it has everything to do with it not being aligned with with god's timing with divine timing we read our messages i've i've read I've read our messages and regret everything that I said. So this person could have said some very nasty, hurtful things to you, you know, and I feel like this person could be going through a bad time in their life and they said and did things to you that they regret. They regret this. I use other people to make you jealous. So this person could be currently in another situation, currently using another situation to make you jealous. You know, this person could be actively trying to replace you. Or this is what they could have done, trying to make you guys jealous. Thank you, Spirit. I would have done anything for you. So this is, this is your energy. You would have done anything for this person. And I really feel like this is why it devastates you. It broke your heart. It altered how you feel about love in general, you know? It made you guys, for some of you guys, it could have turned you cold. Like, you guys are not that emotional the way that you used to be. Look at that. Career focus. Yeah, you guys are just focusing on your money. You're not really trying to be involved in nothing dealing with the heart. No affairs of the heart. Okay? So, this person really did some damage. I'm thinking of um, the channel song is Her Damage. 
If I let you, you'll take me for granted, baby. Oh, you're off and with me. Oh, baby, I caught it. Oh, we can be whatever you want, call it. Promise that you won't let me fall. Oh, oh, oh. Holding me tight, loving me right, giving me that. Mm -hmm. All night you could be. So, I don't know. I just feel like this person did, did damage to you. I know I fucked up the words of that song. It doesn't matter. I love that song. That is a beautiful song. She's an amazing artist. She's so damn talented. And she's just got this pureness about her. I really, I really, I'm going to have to check, go to one of her concerts. But back to the reading. Um, This person was a hypocrite because hypocrite is here. So they could have told you one thing and did another, okay? I didn't value your time and your effort. So this person did not value you. They didn't value your time, your effort, your energy. You gave your all to this person because here you are saying that I would have done anything for you. And this person know this. They know this. And look at that. Jaded. Jaded. One of you guys could be jaded right now because of this situation, you know? Give another message, spirit. Thank you petty arguments so you guys have like have, would have a lot of petty arguments a lot of petty disputes disagreements because this person could have been just very childish very immature a hypocrite you would catch them up in their lies they didn't want to speak the truth they didn't want you to find out the truth they went out of their way to make sure that you never knew the truth to this day, this person cannot look you in your eyes. To this day, this person is keeping uh, a tremendous amount of distance between you guys. They cannot look you in your eyes. What did you make me feel? Oh, what, what you, what you did, made me feel worthless, and I cannot forgive you for it. So yeah, this person made you feel. They made you feel worthless. They made you feel like you wasn't shit. That is so energy is kind of heavy it breaks my heart that you treat other people better than you treat me so you this person was like they treated everybody else with more time more care more compassion but it's like when it came to you it's like they went out of their way to give you the bare minimum they went out of their way to give you guys crumbs you know sad i fear commitment so i really feel like the reason why this person was so open with these other people is because this person saw your potential. Like, they knew who you were. They knew what it's like. They knew that you were supposed to be with them. And this person was fearful of this, so they sabotaged this connection. They sabotaged it. I didn't want to be the bad guy. Yeah, look at that. This is why this person is staying away from you now. They're not saying anything to you. They're keeping their distance. This is a runner versus chaser type of thing. This shit has been going on for lifetimes. Every time you guys reincarnate, it's like this person is always running different dimensions. This person is constantly running. They're running from what they know they need to do. This person possibly would do dirty stuff to you in a lifetime. You guys would reincarnate. This person would see you and keep running because they're embarrassed. They are embarrassed. Their soul is embarrassed. I just, I feel like this person don't feel good enough for you. Me personally, and I feel like that's why they made you feel how they made you feel. Let me show you that I've changed. So it's something about this person changing. I don't know if this person has changed or not. Look, this person may be, maybe they've grown because it's saying young and dumb. So you guys could have met this person early on in your life. They could have been early, early 20s, either early 20s, mid 20s, early 30s. This, I really feel like this is a group of you guys that met when y'all met, okay? So... I feel like um, this person didn't, they didn't think that you guys were compatible, but I want to know why. I'm going to clarify because I want to know why this person, um, why they didn't think that you guys were compatible. Like, what is going on? All right, spirit. The magician is here. A lot of you guys may be really good at manifesting. Magician's energy I just saw. Or you are just um, manifesting something significant in your life right now. All right, spirit. Uh, why didn't they feel like they were compatible? Like, what was going on with that? 
the world in reverse. So, you know, it came out sideways. This is some type of cycle. I really feel like this is something bleeding over from a previous reincarnation. There was a lot of heartbreak. Something very traumatic happened in this connection in a past life between you guys. The Eight of Swords is here. The Supreme in the reverse. This person cannot connect with you. That's what this is. They cannot connect with you. You are supreme and upright. This person is the supreme in the reverse. Look how she's out of this planet. This is like star seed type of energy. This is like, um, this isn't even the high priestess card. You know, I just feel like you guys are connected. You guys are aligned. Look how graceful she is levitating in the air. This person has been stuck in their head over this type of energy that you carry about yourself for a very long time. Amethyst is here. Some of you guys may have an amethyst stone or something like that, or maybe that's the stone that you guys need to be representing at this time. The God of Cups, okay? This, it came out in reverse. This is, this is like the King of Cups, but in this deck, it's called the God of Cups. This person was very emotionally manipulative, very emotionally immature. They did not listen to their intuition. This person was disconnected from source. They were disconnected from divine, from their higher self, okay? The son of pentacles is here and it came out in reverse. This is letting me know that they did not feel like they had anything to offer you. This talks about a very youthful, very immature teenage type of energy. And the little that they had, they was holding on to it. Thank you. The Six of Swords. So you guys turned your back to this person and you walked away. You literally left the situation. And I know this is you because I say that this is your energy. You are the Supreme. And that's the same white dress. Okay, her back is turned. You guys literally sailed away into the sunset, away from this individual, away from troubled water. Okay, this person had your emotions all over the place. This is so, this was a very troubled type of person, and you had started to take on this person's energy. I just heard bad communication. What is, what is that bad communication energy spirit? What happened with that? What is this bad communication energy? Thank you. The strength card in reverse. The two, I mean, the strength card sideways, this person is, they don't have the courage to communicate something with you at all. They just don't have the courage to do so. This person could be like a coward or something. The two of swords in reverse. This person did not have the courage to make some type of decision, to choose some type of path, to speak their truth, to reveal some type of secrets to you. This person wanted to keep you blinded. They hope that you remain blind to what was really going on, you know? God of Wands. And really, this person had a lot of player ways, a lot of heavy, heavy player energy. Someone may be um, protected with the... Um, there's a Black Panther here. That's ancestral protection. Nova of the universe. This is the magician. You know, you guys are literally a force that this person had never seen before. Okay? There's something very out of this world about you. You, you just have this inner knowledge that's way beyond anything or that this person ever came across. You have this ancient information within you that a lot of people don't know. You just know. You don't know why you know. You just know. You guys are excellent manifestors. This is the magician card, the Nova. You are the supernova. You are the, you are the star, okay? And look, even on this card, her eyes are closed, but her third eye is open. This is how 
And see, the, the Ten of Swords is here. So you guys came out of this heartbreaking situation. You poured yourselves out of the situation. You pulled these knives out of your back and you stepped into this supernova energy, this, this powerful star energy, the, this powerful magician energy. It was 15, 15 on the timer when I said that. This person felt like this type of energy was not compatible to them. How do um, they view the collective spirit? Thank you. The moon in reverse. They think it's some. They they think you know something. They think you know something about them that you're just not saying. Okay. That they think that you know some type of truth, and this is the reason why you guys are divided. Because look at the sea being divided. This is why you guys are in separation. This, they feel like this is the reason why you guys are in divided because you know something that you're not saying. That's what they feel. Daughter of Swords is here. So this person feels like you're keeping... I'm, I'm hearing that you're keeping secrets. Damn, the High Priestess. Thank you, Spirit. Just like I... <laughs> crazy. The High Priestess is the secret keeper. This person think that you know something and you're only communicating very bare minimum of what you know. You want to come out and say everything that you know, but you're just not doing it. And I'm like, this person thinks that you know something that you're not saying. And this is why you guys are divided like this C. And oh my goodness, the high priestess come out. The high priestess knows everything, says nothing. The high priestess energy rarely exposes all all her truth like you would never really know what a high true high priestess know perfectly balanced duality that black and that white energy you are balanced between the your light and your dark so you're not over consumed in darkness and you're not over consumed with light you are in perfect duality you guys have you guys are within balance of the universe this is why you're coming out as the nova the universe you are it all life come come through you. And what I mean by that is because everybody that you guys come across, they are reborn. You rebirth them. That's what I mean. All life come through you. They are reborn when they come across your path, including this person. This person is reborn. They're going through some type of transformation as well that they've been running from. And they kind of low-key resent you for it. But it's not your fault. You can't help who you are. All right, give me some final messages for the collective. All right. Wow, you guys remember like, was it the 90s? Zoom, 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 make my heart go boom, boom. My supernova girl, Xenon girl of the 21st century. I said, you guys are out of this world. You are way before your time. For real, this person could have been extremely logical. Like they just operate in logic. You guys operate with this. It's this type of information. It's like, what is the word for it? It's like sacred. It's like the hall of knowledge that you guys have. Your leaders, your teachers, your healers. All right, thank you. This is destiny. Spirit say destiny is at play right now, and that they're requiring that it's going to require that you go with the flow. Okay, and this person is going to have to go with the flow as well. Hidden truths. Didn't I say some things hidden that is is about to be revealed? You already know. You're waiting on them to reveal to you what you already know. You know, surround, but you're surrounded by the angels. Okay, you guys are surrounded by angels. You are very divinely protected and guided. So it's just like there's nothing this person can throw you away or anybody can um can harm you. Heart activation is here. So spirit is working on your heart, reactivating your heart, you guys, because this person, like I said, they they did a number on your heart and some of you guys may be jaded so spirit is protecting you you are surrounded by angels you know and they are working on your heart chakra right now as we speak and this person's heart chakra needs some work as well give me one more card 
oh, I want to, I'm being led to pull from my Mystic Bees Twin Flame Conversations and Secrets. I just got the pull. Thank you. Look at that. Practice makes perf practice makes perfect. So this person is gonna it may take look laughter needed. It may have taken a little practice. I'm here practicing love. I really feel like this person ain't never experienced this type of love to this type of capacity, this type of emotional capacity before. They were just used to 3D mediocre type of love the what you see is what you get type of love they they have never experienced the type of love that makes you rethink everything and everyone and every um interaction and every feeling that you've ever experienced they've never experienced anything like this all right let's pour from my mystic bees twin flame conversations and secrets you guys can find these cards in the link in the description box on my Etsy shop. Also, you guys, the link to my Chosen Ones box, monthly Chosen Ones box, is in the description box. Well, shit, they're on Etsy, so go ahead and grab you one. I have a few left. All right, Spirit. A lot of you guys should have received an email because we shipped out the first batch today. All right. Give me messages from this person's higher self. Would it be selfish to ask you to wait for me? This person wants to know, would it be selfish for them to just ask you to wait? Being emotionally unavailable is starting to drain me. And you guys, I said this person came out as the God of Cups in reverse. So this is letting me know that this person is emotionally manipulative and emotionally unavailable. But they are saying that this is starting to drain them. Where, where did I do this card? Okay, screw it. I'm not going to look for it. But it came out earlier. You guys can rewind it. But yeah, this person being in this energy is starting to... The High Priestess is so beautiful on this card, isn't she? You guys, y'all just... All the women on these cards are gorgeous. They are gorgeous. I love these cards. They're so beautiful. The illustrations is just... Oh, beautiful. Okay, give me another message. You guys... Didn't I say you guys have access to higher information? There's a scroll in her hand. A lot of you guys are record keepers in the 5D. You hold the record, like records for like your bloodline and stuff like that. You know, I heard ancient knowledge. There's a pureness to you. Look, boundaries. So you guys had to set boundaries with this person. You, you, you literally set these boundaries with this person because you are the empress energy you are the empress you are the high priestess or if you're a man you know you may have the the the, the divine feminine energy or the empress energy within you you know you know your position or play with the characters you know you know where you fall in place at each lifetime oh my god didn't i say this each lifetime each dimension i'm running and hiding in shame full of regret i let you carry us on your own your strength i'm honored this person didn't i say every time y'all reincarnate it doesn't matter what lifetime they are always a runner they're always the runner because they are embarrassed their soul is embarrassed to face you so they'll they'll stick around and they'll run or they'll just run immediately i said this this is confirmation thank you spirit like i really really appreciate it you know yeah, I really appreciate that. So, all right, you guys. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. Hit the notification bell so that when I post a video, you guys will get an alert. Peace.